Lesson 5.5, Two-Digit Subtraction with Regrouping. In the last couple of videos, we've learned when there are not enough ones in the minuend to subtract the ones of the subtrahend, we can regroup a 10 as 10 ones. So remember, this is the minuend, and we're taking away the subtrahend. The answer would be the difference. So the very first thing we do when we see a subtraction problem is we look at the ones and ask ourselves, are there enough ones here to subtract six? No, there's not. So we need to regroup a 10 as 10 ones. We go to the tens place, we cross off the three and take a 10 away. That means if we're taking one away, there's now two tens there. We give that 10 to the ones place as 10 ones and 10 ones and four ones is 14 ones. So we don't have four ones anymore. We have 14 ones. Now we do have enough ones to take six away. 14 minus six is equal to eight. Now we subtract the tens, two tens minus one 10 is one 10. That means 34 minus 16 is equal to 18. Remember to look at the ones first. We only regroup if we don't have enough ones to subtract. We have 47 minus 15. We have seven and we need to take five away. Well, we can do that. We can have seven and take five away. So there's no regrouping needed. We just do seven ones minus five ones, which is two ones. We do four tens minus one 10, which is three tens. It's equal to 32. Here we have 42 minus 15. We have two ones and we need to take five away. So we will need to regroup. We'll need to take a 10 away from this four and it'll become a three. The two ones become 12 ones. Now we have 12 ones minus five ones, which is seven ones. And three tens minus one 10 is two tens. It's equal to 27. So remember to look at the ones first. If the number is great enough to take away the ones place of the subtrahend, then we don't need regrouping. We only need regrouping if the ones are not enough. Here we have 42 minus 15. We have two ones and we need to take five ones away. So we don't have enough ones to subtract five. So we cross off the four tens. Now it's one less, it's three tens. So what we're doing is we're crossing off one of the tens and we're gonna give it to the ones place as 10 ones. Instead of two ones, we now have 12 ones. If we take this 10 and put 10 ones here, now we can take away five Twelve ones minus five ones leaves five, six, seven ones. We still need to take this 10 away from the 15. We cross it off. And three tens minus one 10 leaves two tens. That means 42 minus 15 is equal to 27. It's very important that you cross off what you're taking away and you cross off the 10 that was regrouped so you don't make a mistake and count it as part of the answer. Here we have 81 minus 37. We look at the ones. Can we take seven from one? No. So we need to regroup from the tens place. Eight tens becomes seven tens. And we give that 10 to the ones as 10 ones. We already have one. So the 10 we took and that one is going to make 11 ones. Now we have 11 ones minus seven ones. That's four ones. Now we have seven tens minus three tens. That's four tens. 
That means 81 minus 37 is equal to 44. Here we have 70 minus 52. We have zero ones and we need to take two away. So we don't have enough. We need to cross off the seven, make it a six, and give the 10 to the ones. Now we had zero ones, now we have 10 ones. And 10 ones minus two ones is eight ones. And six tens minus five tens is one ten. That means 70 minus 52 is equal to 18. Just remember to cross off the tens when you regroup and you can cross off the ones and write how many ones you have up in that box or above that one you crossed off. Let's try it again without the subtraction frame. We look at the ones. We have nine ones and we need to take nine ones away. Do you think we need to regroup? If you said no, you're right. We have nine. We're taking away nine. We have zero ones left. We have six tens minus two tens. That's four tens. That means 69 minus 29 is equal to 40. Here we have 34 minus eight. Do you think we need to regroup? Look at the ones place. If you said yes, regroup, you're right. We have four ones and we need to take eight away. We cross off the three and make it a two and we give 10 ones to the ones place. Now, instead of four ones, we have 14 ones. And 14 ones minus eight ones is six ones. And we have nothing here. We're only taking away the eight ones, so we just drop down the two. 34 minus eight is equal to 26. Tala found seven fewer seashells than Sarah. Tala found 19 seashells. How many seashells did Sarah find? And we think we are comparing the number of seashells that they found. And seven fewer means seven less. That means Tala found seven less than Sarah. And we know that she found 19. 19 is seven less than what Sarah found. So Sarah found some number we don't know. Seven fewer than that number is how many Tala found? 19. We can use a related addition equation to help us find how many Sarah found. We do 19 plus seven. We have nine ones plus seven ones. That's 16 ones. We regroup a 10 to the tens place and write the six ones in the ones place. Now we have two tens. That means Sarah found 26 seashells. There are 41 goats in a field. If 17 goats go into the barn, how many goats are still in the field? It says we need to circle the number in the box to make the sentence true. There are some number of goats still in the field. Well, there were 41 in the field, then 17 go into the barn. That means 17 went away out of the field. We can do 41 minus 17. We look at the ones place and we see there's only one one and we need to take seven away. So we need to regroup from the tens place. We take away a 10, now we have three tens. And we give it to the ones place as 10 ones. Now instead of one one, we have 11 ones. And we can do 11 minus seven, which is equal to four. Now we have three tens minus one 10. That's two tens. The difference is 24. That means there are 24 goats still in the field and we've circled the number in the box to make the sentence true. It's asking us, what is the difference? That means we need to find the answer to a subtraction problem. 
we look at the problem, in the ones place we have zero ones and we need to take away six ones, and we can't, there aren't enough ones. So we cross off the four and take a 10 away. Now we have three tens and we give it to the ones place. Now, instead of zero ones, we have 10 ones. 10 minus six is four. Three tens minus two tens is one 10. The difference is 14. Here we have 67 minus 14. We look at the ones place. We have seven ones and we need to take away four ones. We don't need to regroup. We can take four ones from seven ones. That leaves three. We have six tens minus one ten. That's five tens. The difference is 53. We're finding the difference between the minuen and the subtrahend. Now, I know some of you have seen this before, and some of you haven't, so this is for the ones that haven't. We can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to keep place values in their correct column. That way, when we are regrouping, we keep our digits in their correct place value. It even works with regrouping for addition. We're going to continue doing two-digit subtraction with regrouping. Our next lesson, 5.6, is more practice. It's really good for you. I hope you'll join me there, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.